When you think of an annual exam, you're probably thinking of a physical, right? Well, something just as important as a full body exam is an eye exam. Here with more insight is Dr. Richard Levin of Total Vision Maryland. Dr. Levin, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Let's talk about cataracts. What are they? Who often suffers from them? And how do you know if you have them? Cataracts is actually a yellowing of the lens in the eye. Mm -hmm. Everyone that lives long enough is eventually going to develop cataracts. It, not everyone needs surgery, but as we age, they might become visually significant where they do need to be removed. Usually, 50% uh, of the population over the age of 65 has developed cataracts, but just because you have cataracts doesn't mean that they're visually significant and that they need to be removed. Okay. But when they become visually significant, we can remove the cataracts and put an implant in. There's different types of implants. The standard implant, you st the patient will still need reading glasses afterwards. Mm -hmm. There are new upgraded implants that can reduce the dependency on glasses afterwards, and the patients might not need glasses at all. Which is amazing. I mean, that's totally different than it was, let's say, 10 years ago, right? Absolutely. It's, there's different types of lenses. Some will give you better focusing for the computer, and there is a type of lens that will give you a better focusing for up close to read. So it is very new and it is the newest technology out there. Speaking of computers, I think uh, not only over the age of 65, but all of us, even children included, we're all straining our eyes on a daily basis on the computer screens, on our phones, on the, the, the iPads, the iPods. What effect is that having on our eyesight? Absolutely, when we stare at a computer screen, the lens in the eye flexes forward and it does create a significant amount of eye strain. Mm -hmm. We do though, we call that computer vision syndrome, there's, what we do is we prescribe glasses for the patient to relax the lens in the eye, so becoming, uh, so staring at the computer is a lot more relaxed. There's also glare, it becomes a significant issue, and there are these new lenses that can reduce glare called eyes-on lenses that are custom designed for the eye. Up until about two or three years ago, mm -hmm. if you and I had the same prescription, we were given the same lenses. And these new lenses measure the curvatures of your eye so they're custom designed, it's like your eye print, just like you and I have different fingerprints, mm -hmm. this measures your eye print. So it can reduce the glare that patients uh, suffer from viewing the computer screen all day. Are you noticing more and more children are coming into your office because they are now being introduced to the computers at such an earlier age? Absolutely, what we've noticed is that young kids, because they stare at a computer screen all day, mm -hmm. the brain says, hey, I need to see it 16 inches. I don't need to see far away, so we're seeing a significant amount of nearsightedness and that these children are becoming more nearsighted at a faster rate than in the past. How often should you get an eye examination? Uh, every, every single year, the biggest misconception that patients have is that just because they see well, that they don't need their eyes examined. But there are a lot of eye diseases that we can notice even when a patient sees well, such as glaucoma and patients that are diabetic and high blood pressure need to come in every single year, very important. And that's something I'm sure a lot of people can relate to because I'm sure they're sitting at home saying they can't remember the last time they got an eye exam. Yes, the, the retina, the blood vessels in the retina represent the blood vessels in the body. So we do have patients that are completely asymptomatic, thinking they're very healthy and they mm -hmm. come in and we can see these changes in the retina um, that can lead, mean they're either they're diabetic high blood pressure, and even glaucoma, which is a silent eye disease. Okay, doctor, thank you so much for being here. Good thank information. You. Keep your eyes healthy with help from the knowledgeable staff at Total Vision Maryland. Make your appointment today by calling 410-486-1010 or look them up on the web at totalvisionmd.com.